ladies, my name is Michelle Regazzoli Stone of MRSMakeup.ie and I have been a makeup artist for over 15 years. So we're going to start off with skincare. So I'm going to start off with the cleanser. And this was one of the first products that I fell in love with, with the brand. It's called Dissolve It. So it's like a melting cleansing balm for the skin. So it's very luxurious. It has a lovely bit of an oily type of a base. Start rubbing it onto the surface and that will encourage a nice bit of uh, red blood cells and oxygen to come to the surface of the skin as well. And like you can actually start to see the solid form start to liquefy and really, really melt everything off. And now this is the Total Care Serum. So there's one thing that you can do for yourself, it's a serum. Serums are so important because you can see how small the little bottle is. They're like an intense fusion of the best ingredients that you can possibly get. 24 hour moisturizing, anti-wrinkle, brightening and pore reducer. So that's everything that you need. And the great thing about these is you need one or two little drops of it and massage it into your skin. Now I like to use mine at night time because if you're getting seven to eight hours of sleep, your skin replenishes itself. When this kind of works its way into your skin and while you're sleeping, you're kind of getting like double the benefit. Okay, so I'm gonna start now. I have all my Kaolin brushes with me today and they're absolutely fabulous set of brushes. They are really, really gorgeous. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off with a little bit of concealer on the lid. And this is the HD coverage concealer in shade cotton, so shade number two. So it's great that it has something to cater for everybody's skin type. So it's kind of a dome shaped brush. So it allows you to apply and to blend. Beautiful brush, really, really smooth, great shape. So it's working its way into the socket nice and easily. Give me very little work to do, which is exactly what you want as a makeup artist. Kaylin have this wonder product absolute wonder product and this is called the bright on eye balm so the eye bright balm it's kind of like a little bit thicker than the concealer we're going to pat that on the eye and then we're going to stick the eyeshadow over that while it's still kind of a little bit of moisture going on with it and you get a really really nice build up and it'll be kind of heavy and full because we're going nice and glamorous okay and i'm going in now with the kaolin this is the number eight tapered blending brush so it's firm and it's fluffy so it will apply and blend and this is their beautiful eyeshadow palette. So you get 12 in this and a full range of shades. They're absolutely fabulous. You get the mirror and everything and you get a brush with it as well. Okay, so I'm gonna start to stipple it on here. I'm going for the matte shade. So this is the plum tone. Okay, so this is one of my products in this brand that I can't live without. I think I have three of them in my own personal makeup kit you know, between pigments and glitters and everything. And this is the Kaolin Stick It Glue. So it's a really, really thin glue that you can pop on your eyelids for applying your glitters on top of it. So what I'm gonna do is, I just take a little bit of the excess off. And what I love about this is there's no leak. There's no, you pop it on and the whole thing spreads and then someone's like, oh God, my eye's really stinging. There's nothing like that. It's kind of a lovely consistency that it doesn't move or doesn't bleed or drip or run or anything because like I'm sure most people have tried with a glue and the thing starts to move down the eye and should then, you know, it has to be really, really comfortable for your client. Okay, so I'm going in now with Snow Dust and this is part of their Carnival Glitter Collection. I have the gold on today, if anybody has spotted it on my eyelids. So just pat and move and it will just automatically stick Okay, and then I am going to add another one in. Okay, so we're gonna go in with some liner. So this company has everything that you could possibly need for eyeliner. I like to bring my concealer. So this will be a little bit paler than what I'm gonna go with with the foundation. And I'm gonna bring it right out to the outer corner of the eye. So it gives you that lovely kind of feline shape underneath here, and it creates more light. If you're conscious of fine line, always remember that your lines go in an outward direction. So if you apply your concealer like this, what way is it gonna settle? 
it's all going to settle into the lines in that direction. So if you have, I sometimes tend to leave them for a little while, go on with everything else, go back in with my brush and dislodge it and just go in the opposite direction and it will actually take it out again and put a very, very light little touch of powder then around that area. So I love a little bit of a paler shade, one shade paler than your foundation with concealer because it just lifts this whole area and gives that beautiful bright and freshness underneath the eye. These two will be my favourites for powder. Um, this is the Tapered Face Brush, number 17. And this is the number five Flat Blending Brush. They are beautiful. There's the feel now like their natural hair and they are beautiful. We we'll go in now with a bit of structure onto the cheeks and I'm going to go in with my Trio Bronzer. The brush that I'm going to use is the Full Coverage Foundation Brush because it has a nice little bit of shape on it. Now I'm going to use the kind of the lighter and the medium. I'm not going to go too dark just yet. I'm going to start from the cheekbones, the kind of inner corner of the ear and working my way out underneath the cheekbones with this kind of area here so that if you were to push up the cheek <coughs> it would be just underneath to give it a lovely little bit of shape and definition. I'm also going to put a touch of it just on the jawline and you can see it's starting to take shape now. There's loads of definition going on. Not too heavy. Gonna go in with the Extreme Matte Tint, shade 31. So I absolutely love lip liner, it's like my thing. I've always, my aunties are literally wearing it. I'm born in 85, so the 80s and 90s, they always had it overdrawn, nice and strong, and it's just one of my things that I adore. I just think that if you have like a thinner lip and you wanna make it more voluminous or voluminous, you can just add that little touch extra over the outside of the line. So we have two lip lines. We have a pink one and we have an invisible one. So if you aim for a little touch over the pink and onto the invisible, that's where you can overdraw. If you want to keep it nice and neat and structured, just keep it onto the pink lip line. Oh. 